Uh, I'm going to reassemble all this back bit. I'm going to reassemble probably the window screen frame. I'll get that back bit of the roof trim put on. Uh, and the aim is to take that roof skin, bolt it in the front, see where it overlaps on the rear, mark it and get that cut up. And then we can get that roof section uh, riveted together, sealed and, and made into the shorter version that it needs to be. So I got ahead of myself a little bit here because uh, I was supposed to be mocking up the back end. Uh, but yesterday I had the, uh, the seat box out, uh, stone chipped all the underside of this, uh, wire brushed it all so that the underside of this is, is complete. And uh, just bringing it back around I just thought it was a good chance to just mock up and check the fitment of uh, all the foot panel, or the footwell panels because obviously I've welded in new footwell on this side and I've welded in a new footwell on that side and uh, I'm actually relatively quite chuffed with this because uh, put this back into place where it needs to be obviously it needs to be bolted in uh, but these footwells have basically just dropped in uh, exactly where they were before now uh, I've got to drill a couple of new holes because the holes on the pattern bits don't quite meet up that's just what you get from pattern panels unfortunately uh, it's a bit more prominent on the driver's side but that is a really really easy thing to sort a couple of uh, quick holes through get those bolts in to, uh, to clamp that down and obviously when I'm bolting all this back in I'll be putting a load of sealant in anyway so now I'm actually going to do what I intended I'm going to uh, build up this back end get this roof marked and get this chopped couple of minutes late but uh, reassembled all the sides that back roof bit there all bolted on rebolted the uh, windscreen frame and the, the screen on and um, just so that I could lay the roof up top now I've had this slid right up uh, against the back of the the screen and in place so I've just got a couple of marks this is going to be the back of the roof and that's just where the overhang on the gutter is because what the intention is is to have the roof come right to the end of here but obviously the gutter needs to stop here um, and then obviously there'll be a uh, I'll have to co uh, reconnect these two which will involve the roof skin and just uh, basically taking out all this putty and, and refilling it on top of the new skin but gives uh, a good indication of what it's going to look like completely done sat in the back I think there's quite a decent amount of uh, room in the rear of the king cab especially for the two uh, two seats that we've got so I'm uh, gonna whip this roof down get this roof chopped and then what I will be doing is I'll be putting it back up onto the top so that I can start riveting and sealing it because I'm gonna bolt the front in place and seal and rivet it while it's all in and then I'm just gonna call it a day and leave it for the night to dry so that we know that that roof fits perfectly just on that uh, that gap just to keep you all appraised of how I'm constructing this king cab roof um, so obviously you can see the things now quite a bit shorter uh, what I basically did was uh, measured down where I needed to cut off for that back bit chopped the thing off in it, it, its entirety and then what you'll see on the end here um, so I cut the gutter short trimmed round trimmed under and then was actually able to remove the gutter piece uh, and leave the roof skin intact same on this side just took it off um, so you can see uh, how this this roof basically has a fold in it that sits in this gutter it's then obviously stuck in and then everything's sealed on top so what I've got to do just on this back bit is you can see just on the cross section there uh, I now need to just remove all this sealant off the top of this uh, roof skin to the back so that our new roof skin will sit directly on top of that we'll pop a rivet through that to make sure that that's held in place and obviously we'll be riveting all the way up and, and sealing the top but then when this is dry we can recork inside of this and make sure that that back corner of the roof is uh, absolutely watertight so I'm going to get this up onto the top and see how it fits so that you managed to uh, pull her out for the end of the day just so I can have a look so obviously I've not seen this in, uh, in daylight in anywhere except my mind <laughs> so uh, so here we go roof's on I've riveted it up so you can just see uh, the gap there which obviously with the colour differences will look quite horrendous and let me just 
all the way along uh, but once that's painted that's not going to be as noticeable uh, I'm going to have to neaten up these joints a little bit but I've got a plan uh, basically clamping these in place uh, and then riveting these shut obviously I've got the window cut out on this side still got to do the window cut out on the other side but you can see here this is the uh, the double cab frame just sitting in the cap in nice and close uh, it's basically as close as we could get it to the cab so that canvas is going to slot down there be nice and snug and then it'll just obviously we've got to put the uh, little hooks on to get that canvas attached but you can see from the back follows the roof line quite nicely it's pretty tall let me just quickly get a front view see when we initially pulled this into the gazebo uh, it literally slotted in and just touched the roof but you can see now with the lift kit on uh, I mean it's a good job it's canvas and not a garage because it's up probably about four inches but uh, that's where I'm up to seat box isn't bolted in yet floor pans aren't bolted in yet it's all just sort of mucked up but I'm gonna push this back in leave this roof to dry overnight so that that seals nice and good and it's all in, out in line where it needs to be all of this is bolted in solid so that the roof's bolted to the sides, the sides are bolted to the tub, the screen's bolted in properly, the roof's bolted to uh, the screen and it just means now that this roof or basically this joint will set so that this roof fits this gap absolutely perfect. So I'll give you a bit of a sneaky peek inside room, there's plenty of room in here for a king cab. One seat there, one seat on this side, a couple of front seats and a cubby box, that'll be good for the family. 